Hello everybody, it is I, Lazy Knuck, and as I always do, I have lived up to my name and I have been as lazy as possible. Namely, it's been like, I don't know what, three three weeks, three months since I've last played this? What the hell has it been? Something like it. It's been a while. So, anyway, in case you don't remember what the hell has happened, um, we have uh, been stranded on this shitty, shitty world. Come here, fish. And uh, unfortunately, the world has gone to hell. Because, uh, yeah, we pissed off the wrong people. Anyway, we are stuck with Sleaze and Sid. Ah, yes, thank you, Munch Munch Chop. Kick off, hack, I just can't seem to shake this thing. So anyway, I believe he, it was mentioned right at the end last time that we need to catch some fish. This is a fast-moving fish. Come here, fish. Come here, fish. Come here, thank you. And uh, we need to feed fish to Sid, because Sid is extremely sick. And that is not good. That is definitely not good. So anyway, yeah, here's another fish. Dup, dup, dup. I just can't seem to shake this thing. So anyway, we actually got to be kind of quick because I think for every like second or something that we stand around, he actually loses his health point. Now he's got like some kind of imaginary health like bar of sorts. Okay, these fish suck, but maybe it's not so bad. And uh, let's just see what type of fish it is. I mean, no matter what, it's, I have the fish now. I can't do anything about it, but oh shit, it's an ordinary fish. That's not good. Um, This might be bad. <laughs> let's see... I just can't seem to shake this thing. All right, so we need to keep feeding him fish, and the fast fish are the best fish. Now, two things can happen. He can actually get sick to the point where he just outright dies, which is not good. And uh, Or we can keep feeding him good fish until he just recovers. And the fish don't seem to like resetting. So let's just head out here real quick. I'm not really sure what else I can do to make the fish change. But if that same shitty fish is there, I don't know. What, yeah, it's the same fish. It doesn't seem to be resetting the fish at all. Oh, I hope my game isn't, like, bugged somehow. The fish are supposed to just randomly change as you go. Okay, yeah, it's still the same shitty fish. I don't know what the hell else to do, because it's... I need only fast fish. Like, I don't know what else I can do. I don't know, maybe going and getting into a battle, but I don't think... Well, let's just see. How strong are these things, if anything? No, well, they're... White wind. Oh, great, now I'm... Oh, right, everything just dies on its own. That's right. <laughs> Great, now I'm poisoned, which is just even more fantastic. Uh, let's just see, I have some antidotes, so that's not so bad. But yeah, everything in here on this island is extremely sickly and death-filled and, you know, all that fun stuff. Okay, is the fish not going to reset, or am I going to be stuck feeding him this crappy fish? Like, seriously? <sighs> I don't know what to do when the game just doesn't, you know, like, respawn the fish. Okay, that's not good. See, he's dying because I can't catch any good fish. Maybe I'll just have to go the other route. Oh, okay, there's a good fish. Okay, seriously, like, the fish took way too long to respawn. <laughs> Come here. I need to feed you some fish. Yeah, this is just uh, kind of a, a weird part of the game. Munch, munch, chop, chew. I just can't seem to shake this thing. Yeah, anyway, so I might get the uh, might get him to save him, or he might just die if this game just continues to screw with me here. And I'm stuck with this one shitty fish again. This is annoying. Every second I stand out here, he's uh, slowly dying, so... <laughs> Alright, game, are you gonna just troll me into oblivion here, or are you gonna give me some fish? You're not gonna give me any fish, are you? That's not good. Uh, well, you might just get to see the sadder ending. Yeah, this game is just trolling me at this point. I can't do anything about it if the game doesn't give me the fish to to do the, the good route, I guess you could call it. Yeah, you're just not gonna do anything at all here, are you? I don't know. I walked out that side last time and then respawned some fish. And maybe I can get lucky this time. Nope, it is definitely the same shitty fish as before. Okay, let's try going north. <laughs> I don't know what else to do. The fish are just being. The fish are trolling me. I'm being trolled by fish. Yeah, he's. Fuck. Well, I mean, we may be going the opposite route uh, than I intended. Which, in all due and purposes, it actually isn't too, too bad for the story anyway. Yeah, I'm getting totally trolled by these fish. I don't know if I need to just go into another battle again. Let's just try that. Because uh, it's definitely not working out for me here. It's definitely not doing what I intended to. Great, now I'm poisoned again. That's just fantastic. And they're all going to die because the world is sickly and death. Death filled and all that fun stuff. Five experience. That's just great. Alright, hey, uh, actually, do I have... Do I have any... I do have poison. Yay, okay, at least I'm saving my items. Not that it really makes that much of a difference. Might already be too late to save him. 
unfortunately. Yeah, this game is t definitely just trolling me to the max with these fish. It doesn't seem like there's much I can do now. Because it's not resetting them. I don't know, I can't remember if there's a way to trigger the fish changing or not. Yeah, it's probably already too late. Shit. Um. Yeah, I don't know what else to do. I know how this works, but it just doesn't seem to want to be... I I really can't even begin to guess. Yeah, it's not changing the fish, like, at all. You can talk to a bird. Problem is, is every second that you're running back and forth, he's actually losing his uh, invisible health bar. And there's really nothing I can do about it. Yeah, see, it's just still throwing the same shitty fish at me, so... <sighs> it's, not, it's not good at all. I don't know what else to do. I can't remember if there's any way to trigger the fish changing, but it doesn't seem to be working. Yeah, it's still the same, just bullshit fish. I I don't know. <laughs> mm. Well, I guess we're going to be getting the alternate ending than normal. Yeah, see, he's still moving, but is he still, like, moving? He's still moving. I don't know what to do. Like, going in the house doesn't change it. Going outside doesn't change it. Like, what am I missing here, game? Uh, this is actually really kind of annoying because I kind of wanted to do the good way, but it doesn't seem like the game is going to let me. Yeah, it's just not resetting the fish. It's just still the same, just garbage, bullshit fish. Don't know what to tell you. I'm going to catch the fish and feed it to him. If it kills him, then, well, I guess we're going to get the other route. Well, he's still moving, but this fish is probably going to kill him. Do, do, do. This is, yeah, that's it. All right, well, I guess we're going to get the, uh, I guess we're going to get the shitty ending, because unfortunately the game refused to give me fish. Oh, yeah, so now it gives me a fish. Yeah, a little too little too late. That, uh, that one line, the, this is the end for me, is basically, yes, he's not moving anymore. So, hey, guess what, we get this ending then. Dot, 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 dot. Granddad, you have to eat her. What's the matter, Granddad? Yeah, well, this is kind of shitty. Sid. No, no, you promised you'd stay here with me. Granddad, answer me. Tell me you're just joking. I'm not really sure what the hell she just did there. She kind of like fell back crying, but yeah, I'm sure. But yeah, unfortunately, because uh, the game trolled me endlessly, it uh, decided to not give me good fish, so we get to take this route. Uh, there's a dead bird or something. The other people who were here with us all gave up hope. One after the next, they flung themselves from the northeast, northern cliffs in despair. And hey, guess what she's gonna do? Cause, uh, yeah, this is, uh, that's it. I mean, that's all she had was Sid, so... Everyone's gone, even Locke. There's nothing left for me in this world. <sighs> that's pretty sad, actually. Well... Unfortunately, that's the end of the game. If you don't save, uh, if you don't save Sid, you actually lose because uh, she kills herself and the game just ends there. So, Keith wins, etc., etc. All that shit kind of sucks, yeah. And there she goes. She jumps off the cliff. She's obviously crying because <laughs> she just lost the only person who could ever really be considered family to her. Yeah, um, yeah, that sucks. No, unfortunately, if you can get nothing but fast fish, you can actually save him, but this game just pretty much refused to give me the fish, so I there's really wasn't much I could do. Every second you spend standing in the little zone here is uh, he loses a health point and his invisible health bar something like that and uh, there's really not a whole lot you can do about it if the game just doesn't give you the fish so hey but you know what some people would actually consider him Sid dying a good thing in terms of story because it really develops her character it shows she's human etc etc you, you can take your pick not really a whole lot happens if you save him he actually just stays here for the rest of the game alive not bothering to leave with Celise so I don't really understand what his point is but if he lives or dies, it doesn't affect the game whatsoever, except face you get to see this cutscene. Anyway, <clears throat> well, that was a terrible sound effect. Uh, were you watching over me? Why would you want to help someone like me? I've already given up hope. Question mark. Holy shit, look what that bird is wearing. In case you can't tell from the poor 1994 graphics, that's supposed to be a bandana. This bandana, it couldn't be. Hey, little bird, where did you come from? Is the person who wrapped your wounds still alive? Please tell me. Because now she's talking to birds, so yeah, she's definitely lost it, but yeah. <laughs> now she's fine. But no, there's, that was a bandana, and there's uh, no question. He's alive. Locke's alive. 
But uh, anyway, yeah, some people actually consider Sid dying in this whole scene playing, really developing her character, just from what it, what it is. And uh, of course, his eyes are still open, which is actually just creepy as hell. It's like he's not alive; he's just trolling you. But no, anyway, somehow this letter uh, appeared. You must leave this island somewhere out there. Your friends are waiting for you. Go down the stairs by the stove. The road to your freedom awaits. Love, Granddad. I don't understand how that letter got there. Um, any in the first place, but uh, who the hell, uh, what the hell do I know? Anyway, if he was alive, he would actually just show us this, and he'd still stay here for some strange reason. But yes, we have a raft. In case you were wondering why he was walking out of the bed and back to the bed whenever we walked in, he's technically he's supposed to be working on this raft, so yeah, I guess that's the explanation the game gives us for that. Anyway, we get the sad route, so that's all sad and stuff. I'll make you proud of me, Granddad. Yeah, he'll be proud of you, don't worry. So there we go. It's actually... I mean, in all honesty, if you save him, it's actually extremely boring. I suppose by this kind of happening inadvertently, I wanted to save him, but unfortunately the game just sort of forced me to this direction. Like I said, it just kind of makes the story a little more interesting here. It gives it that whole sad scene. You know, she basically loses all hope, her spirit breaks, and she somehow is able to use this raft to cross an ocean. But, uh, hey, what do I know, right? <laughs> I'm sure somebody's done it before, but for someone who's never been on a raft before, I don't think she has. I'd love to know how she managed that, but either way, we have uh, floated our way all the way over here. As you can tell, the world is still very barren and, and ugly looking, and I mean, come on, even the overworld music is just like really sad. What is that? It's just barren wind, and the organ plays. There it goes. <laughs> It's a little more sad than the overall music from the uh, the the good world. I uh, kind of dislike the game because it got rid of the, probably the best uh, theme out of all the Final Fantasies I've played. So I guess we're getting one last battle before we go in. Do, do, do. Let's just see if I can even kill you. Oh shit! Okay. Ow! All right, these guys hurt. Yeah, you don't want to screw around too much in the overworld right off the bat here because uh, these things kind of all hurt pretty uh, pretty badly. So. I suppose in this sense, putting on um, invisible would actually probably be not such a bad idea. I don't think I have that though. Um, I most certainly do not. So yeah, that's not good. But actually, you know what? I got some. Let's just see. If, I know the flame tongue hurts it, so let's just cast fire and just barbecue this dog. Oh, it's a hot dog. <laughs> I guess it's a wolf, but whatever. Oh, that was actually a pretty good experience. You can actually power level uh, sleeves pretty hard here, but it's still not that good of an idea to do. Now that I think about it, I don't even have a, an Esper on her, do I? Um, yeah, let's give her a Cure. I don't even have Cure on her yet. It's kind of bad. Anyway, so let's just save real quick. Uh, sure. There we go. I'm missing about half my health. And we've made it to Albrook. Yeah. Let's see, uh, what am I doing? Let's see if there's an in here or not. All right, let's see. Did you see that tower? Uh, no, I did not. Am I supposed to be looking at her? Uh, Keefe is practically a god now, sitting up in that tower with his of his with the power of the warring triad at his command. Okay, yeah, you still say the same thing, don't you? All right, let's see. Do we got anything good in the item shop? Let's see. What do you got? Anything new? No, nothing. Nothing at all. I think even the the music for this like the overworld is like all sad and stuff now. Well, I mean, I don't I don't think this is the music that played before. Pretty much the world is like royally screwed at this point. I mean. If the animals that you were fighting on the island weren't a clue enough, uh, shit kind of has hit the fan pretty badly. So, yeah. That sparkle in your eye reminds me of the young martial artist who visited here not long ago. He had that same determined look. Young martial artist? Oh, who could that be? I wonder. Oh, hey, there's a fire. Oppose Kifka's will and he'll fry your town with a light of judgment. There's no point in even trying. The world's ruined. There's nothing left. Uh, is there even any new items or weapons or anything at all? Hey, look, there's a dude here. I'm a scholar of an ancient of ancient weaponry. Two weapons does. Those... Okay, we've already talked to this guy like however long ago. Yeah, we already found the sword and we already beat the monster. So yeah, he wasn't all that amazing. <laughs> we actually killed him pretty easily. So, flame tongue, ice brand, thunderblade. Hey, look at that. You uh, already have those. That's great. Okay, well, you sell nothing useful. Well, oh, I technically kind of useful, I suppose, but whatever. Many ancient monsters that had long been sealed away were released when the world was ripped apart. Humbaba, Deathgaze, even the eight legendary dragons. That is, if that wasn't a clue as to what's probably going to be uh, coming up later. Cough, cough, I don't like to spoil, but I mean, come on, that guy saying that couldn't have been any more of a clue that you know, shit was going to hit the fan. Holy shit, this is really expensive. 
Uh, I don't even think I want to buy that because I'm going to lose like all my money if I do. And I don't think it's that much better anyway. So hey, guess what? Knowing my luck, it would probably be 